Hello guys, and today I'm going to talk about Tesco's decision to start selling ethnically diverse plasters. Now, for those who um, don't know English so well, a plaster is something we put on, for example, our finger if we cut it. Okay, well, I don't know, cutting some food or something, right? Now, in the past, I've generally seen two shades of this. I've seen what I would call the, what I personally call very light brown, and what I would call medium brown. But this has usually been based upon the type of fabric that's been used. If it's been very soft material, it's usually been very light brown and if it's been a more cloth material um, then to put a stronger um, plaster then it's usually been a, a darker brown but not what they consider dark brown here but what they would call a medium brown to be honest I've never really cared about the color of the plaster I've never really cared whether it's had a light brown or I've had a light brown or medium brown plaster on my finger all I cared about truthfully was will it stop the bleeding you know and that's all I ever cared about you know could I cut, stop you know blood going everywhere you know if I cut my finger or something but apparently um, what we some what we call black people over here and what Americans would call Afro-Americans um, or African Americans, right? Um, were apparently, have for many years, have been disappointed that they couldn't get hold of um, darker toned plasters which matched their skin colour better. Now, I'm surprised that they anybody really cares about this. I've never cared when I put on medium brown plasters that they didn't match my skin colour. I wouldn't personally care for plasters with green, red, or blue to be totally honest as long as they did the job but it seems that you know some people um, wanted this apparently um, the retailer according to this news story it says the, reta the retailer said they were developed within Britain I assume in response to an emotional tweet from a US man who used a plaster matching his skin tone for the first time. So apparently this probably happened in America and a British supermarket thought that they would um, you know do something similar probably to encourage lots of black people to go into their supermarket and buy some and while they were there they'd probably buy food from them as well it's basically a marketing gimmick if you want my honest opinion but the question is will pe people willing be willing to pay more I don't know but I'm guessing but don't know yet okay um, that these might cost more money after all um, there aren't a lot of so many black people in the country or ethnic Indians as there are white people so I would think in terms of volume sales they would have to pay charge more simply because not so many people will buy them or in those particular shades I could be wrong of course I don't know um, I've not seen this in the supermarket yet this news story was released yesterday but I wonder if people got better things to worry about than this or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be cynical. Maybe I should celebrate it. Maybe think at last, um, you know, black people now have plasters which um, they feel happier wearing. I don't know. But I'm just surprised that, you know, I think if it had been an issue that much, why was has it taken so long? And if nobody complained up until now why will they care in the future it'd be interesting to see how successful the sales are of this um, if it costs more will 
black people genuinely be willing to pay more for a plaster just because it matches their skin tone better? Or would they rather save money and get a plaster which doesn't match their skin tone and is the same as a plaster we have nowadays, but will be cheaper? Because I'll be honest, if someone said to me, you can buy a plaster, I'm afraid it's going to be red or green, but it will be cheaper. Or you can buy one that look that exactly matches your skin tone, but I'm afraid it will be twice as much. I'd rather buy the cheaper one. Maybe if I was an ac a famous actor, or um, I work perhaps in an area where, you know, customer, which was very customer facing, and I cared deeply about my appearance, then maybe I would care more. But overall, I wouldn't care about the skin. I'm sorry, the colour of the plaster, because most of the time I wouldn't even bother looking at it, to be totally honest. Um, you know, but that's me, you know. Maybe there are some people who care a lot about their appearance more than I do, and would very much pre and are very grateful that finally, in their opinion, they can have a plaster that they can put on their finger if they cut themselves, um, which matches their skin colour. Okay, so I just thought it was one of those weird news stories. Okay, it's weird for me. I mean, okay, I'm a white person, but it's seemed weird for me, um, especially as for many years I've just been used to medium brown and light brown plasters and as I said as a white person I've never thought to myself oh I must buy you know a very light brown plaster because it's going to match my skin colour much better than one of these cloth um, medium brown ones but there you go so there you go guys um, Tesco which is a British r supermarket retailer is due to start selling ethnically diverse plasters okay I assume that the light version the light brown version is for white people maybe they think the medium brown version is for what I would consider Indians or ethnic Indians um, and people from that region like India Pakistan Bangladesh that kind of region where they're ethnically from that region even if they were born here and I'm assuming the dark brown plasters are for people who are ethnically from Africa okay you know like places like and you know and the Caribbean and similar places you know like Jamaica and places like that ethnically so there you go guys ethnically diverse plasters will soon be available in a supermarket in Britain thanks for watching guys bye